the second cross, crucify the thoughts. The second kind of, of sins that man strives against are thoughts. So they call it crucifixion of the thoughts. It means that the basis of evil things is in our lives are our thoughts. Senses usher in evil. The thoughts treasure, store, save, and marinate them. Then the flesh executes. For example, you saw something that got you angry. Then your brain ruminated on the thought of revenge. Then your temperature went up. You got excited. You spoke words full of poison and you intended evil. Do you pay attention how, of how the sequence goes? The second thing for you to crucify is your thoughts, which are wandering about in the world. Most of the thoughts that are, most of the thoughts are not sanctified and going into futile earthly directions and contain desires, greed, and revenge. What does crucify your thoughts mean? Crucifying your thoughts means that you strive to keep your thoughts from going far from our Lord. This needs fatigue. It needs effort to focus on prayer. Crucify the thoughts. Effort to focus on reading the Bible. Crucify the thoughts. Effort to expel useless ideas that fight you, whether it be lust, love of money, revenge or condemnation, tiredness. Crucify the thoughts. One time, St. Moses the Black was vehemently attacked by thoughts, which battled him all through the night. He ran to his father of confession, knocked on his door in the middle of the night, and said, Father, my thoughts are going to kill me. His, his father of confession told him to continue praying, fight. When he returned to his cell to pray, he didn't sleep. He didn't want his thoughts to overcome him even while he's sleeping. He returned to his father of confession after an hour and said he can't find peace. His father told him, go back and fight, carry your cross, return and pray. He prayed again for an hour or two. Then he returned to his father at 3 a.m. Father, I'm tired. The thoughts still won't go away. His father told him, return and fight. As the sun was coming up, St. Moses said, I'm weary. I fight all night and can't anymore. His father said, don't worry. Come, see something. He took St. Moses the Black to the mountain and prayed to God that he open his eyes. Then St. Moses the Black saw that the mountain was full of devils. His father said to him, See, all these devils are fighting you. Flee from the bow's face. These are Lucifer's bows, which are full of fire. His father pointed to the east, and on the other side of the mountain was full of angels. He said, Those who are with us are more than those who are against us. Go and fight and hold your cross. Can we challenge our unholy thoughts, or do we surrender easily? Or do we consider it far from us that our thoughts are evil? That's worse. Of course, our thoughts are not pure.